Ego's got a ton of battery powered lawnmowers to choose from. And we got one of the newest, the LM2125SP that's gonna be coming out for the spring. We're gonna walk you through this and show you what we learned in our testing. The LM2125SP is a 21 inch self-propelled lawnmower from Ego. Starting down here, we see that we've got the typical poly deck that Ego includes, so we get really, really good airflow when it comes to what's going on on the bottom of the mower here. We have the typical single point height control, and this is gonna run you from as low as one and a quarter inches all the way up to four inches. And that's gonna cover almost every species of grass that we have in America. Now, right over here, we have the battery compartment. It is a single port that we have on this mower. And this one is gonna come with a pretty beefy 7.5 amp hour battery. It's one of the upgrades that you're gonna see over some of Ego's entry level options. And of course, that battery door closes. And then if you look in here you notice that this is translucent so if i hit any of the buttons up here we're going to see that the battery indicator lights up so you're able to see that as you're cutting it's right in front of you you have an idea of how much battery power you have left nice and easy there notice that we have an adjuster level this is going to control both the height of the handles there's two positions to work in and then of course if you're going to do vertical storage just flip it all the way around and then you can lift it up for your vertical storage and as long as we have it up we might as well take a peek what's going on under here and you can see we've been cutting in some uh, fairly wet conditions so we got a lot of sticky St. Augustine and Bahia in there but we do have 21 inch blade and notice this is a mulching blade that comes on here this isn't select cut it's a single blade the select cut system is another upgrade it's a higher price point but in our testing this did a really good job as far as the cut quality goes and mowing wet like we did just before we shot the video uh, you're not going to do very good on bagging and mulching but when it's dry like it is now this does a great job so flipping our mower back around let's take a look at the controls real quick because this is where some of the best stuff is going on on this particular model especially if you've looked at some of ego's entry-level self-propelled models a lot of things going on here so you've got your presence bar this is just gonna let the mower know that hey there's somebody here so press our power button pull this now the blades kick up now this mower has six foot pounds of torque going to the blade there so that's going to be about the equivalent of a 140 cc gas engine and like normal you need to press the power button first then the bar if you do it in the opposite direction it's not going to turn on that's okay no big deal now we got the 140 cc gas engine equivalent and you notice it's nice and quiet right now if you do happen to hit a patch of a thicker grass it's going to automatically raise the rpms and raise the power level so that you can go through that and we had a lot of growth we we're taking mostly an inch and a half to two inches off when we were doing our testing but we came into some areas that we had three and four inches that we needed to take off and it did a fine job of raising up and going through that without making a slow way down to do it now right here this is your self-propelled speed control and i love the way that ego designed this so you've got a lot of positive clicks here and you can hear those clicking through and so it's really really easy to, to adjust your speed on the fly either one of these two paddles right here will engage your self-propelled drive so as long as you've got your hand on one of them you can adjust your speed as you're going love that feature and i love that it clicks it's not just a infinite slider that you can kind of bump out of position real easily so you can just really easily one at a time dial in that speed until you get to the one that you really like so top speed was a very very comfortable walking speed for me i'm six foot two so i've got a longer stride if you're shorter there's plenty of room coming down and you can kick this thing all the way off if you want to and you won't have any drive and you can push it if you really want to of course even when you have it engaged the mower unlocks really really easily so when you need to pull back away from a bush or something like that you're not having that issue where the wheels stick and you kind of go ah that's frustrating nobody likes that got a couple other things going on instead of just automatically coming on notice that you have an led switch that you can press really really simple push it to turn the lights on push it again to turn the lights off if you're mowing near dark after dark go ahead and kick them on if you don't need them leave them off and what's another thing that we see that's new here is we have an led indicator and it's going to give you several different things going on so <clears throat> if you see any of these lights the one that we see the most frequently is when we're getting toward the end of our battery you're going to see that red light flash of course like we said you can also see the battery indicator right up there 
This is a true three-in-one mower, so we've got the bagger installed on it right now, but there's also a mulching plug that comes in the box. It installs in the rear just like you expect, and there's a rear discharge chute, so if you want to install that, it goes in the same spot. Really, really simple to install those as you would expect. And let's talk a little bit more about the performance that we got. So with that 7.5 amp hour battery, Ego says you should be able to run for as much as an hour on that battery. Now, we've got St. Augustine. It's a little bit heavier grass to try and cut than most species around the country. We got 55 minutes. That was a regular maintenance cut, so we're very, very comfortable with Ego's hour-long estimate. They also say that if you're cutting at a medium kind of load, expect about 45 minutes, and if you're cutting a heavy load, expect about 30 minutes of runtime. So let's talk price. With that 7.5 amp hour battery and a charger, this mower is going to run $649 as a kit. And between the performance level and the controls and the other features that we saw, this is going to be one of Ego's mid-range mowers. You can go down and get a lower price point for that really high value mower, or you can go up and get some of the highest power and some of the newest features like Speed IQ. If you have any questions or thoughts about this mower or any of Ego's lawnmowers, feel free to drop those in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.